homeless person. They take care of some and I'll give them credit for that. But recognize the fact that they're hard to place homeless. And Lovely Warren used those words herself when I met her. And Lovely Warren said, if we found he had a plan and a building, she would work with us. Then what came back to me, not through Lovely Warren's living room, from someone else was, only if there's a permanent building. We're having a tough time finding any kind of a building because it looks like nobody wants to work with us. What, what the, this county and the city are saying is keep the homeless outside. Let them freeze to death. Do they care? Oh, we're putting them in, in, in shelters. How come the next day they're out? And how come they're coming back here? And they did this without even telling us. Last night, they, they tricked, were homeless here. They tricked the homeless. They, they tricked them. They, they said it would be a week. December 28th, they had to be out. And right. they came without warning. They tricked them. And they came Some people aren't here. They're off, you know, going in a soup kitchen. Are. All their all their stuff is destroyed. We bought the tents. People brought in blankets and food. We brought all the provisions. And they came in and dumped them all out. So the tents we paid for, and they were donated to us, and blankets, and people are coming down to help us. They're all gone. In one clean sweep, they're gone. Where is the heart of this community? Where is the heart and compassion of the city and the county? And this criminal. is really uh, demoralizing, and it doesn't speak well for the city nor this county. Less, I think that blows my mind too. And then talk about a celebration of fireworks. We're gonna bring in the new year with fireworks. And so we have to remove the homeless from their tents, from their only homes, to celebrate New Year's a new year. Doesn't that speak well to see? This is ridiculous. It's abominable. It's an abomination. And something has to give for this county, for, for this community, for this city and this county to come down here and, and help us find a home for the homeless. And it wouldn't take much because we're willing to give our services. We're willing to, to support it. We're willing to staff it. All we need is help. We don't have the money. City has the money. County has the money. They're, look at the buildings that are going up in the city. The buildings that are going up. The millions of, do of dollars that are put into new buildings in the lofts, the expense of the lofts, the lofts that are here. And don't tell me there's not one building downtown that can't be used for the homeless. There is, but they won't give it to us. And they'll hold up all these zoning laws and rules. And, you know, this is, this is really a problem. And no one in this county should go along with what the city and the county is doing. Many more people in Monroe County need, need to come out and speak, and the churches need to come out. The churches need to come out and speak against this horrible thing that's happened. I blame, I, I, I do blame I, apparently this guy because he's, I hear he's the head of this operation. And this lady here put a lot of work into this to build this and to keep us um, from sleeping out there in the middle of the street. And, and it's just like they're just sticking us back out there. They don't care because like he has a fucking home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 